are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, we're going to be talking about NASCAR here in this video because there was a race today. You guys can see this title right here. National Anthem at Sunday's NASCAR race goes viral. OK, I was wondering, why is it going viral? And I was actually reading a little bit of this article right here. And it says NASCAR went to Atlanta Motor Speedway for Sunday's and better Hill 400. Before the Cup Series race, musician uh, Blanco Brown performed the national anthem. Per Fox NASCAR's official Twitter page, here's video of his rendition. And that's the clip right there. And then they don't actually talk about the national anthem here in this article right here. And I was wondering, OK, why is this actually going viral? And I actually started listening to the national anthem. It's a minute and 40 seconds. And Blanco Brown sounds pretty good. I'm, I'm wondering, OK, why is this actually going viral? What is wrong with this national anthem? Did they actually change the words or something like that? No, they didn't. I was actually expecting, you know, some woke termino terminology to be implemented into uh, the national anthem. No, he did not change the words. His voice sounded very, very good. But the problem happened like the last five seconds of the national anthem. And boy, it is eye opening. <laughs> It is eye opening here. So I'm going to play about the last 15 seconds here. And when you hear that last note, I don't think it was him. I think it's actually the woman next to him. It is horrific. With, with that being said, guys, let's just go ahead and roll this. For the land. OK, you can hear his voice right there. Sounds really good. But listen to this. And the whole of the what the hell was that? What was that? I don't think that was him because, um. You don't exactly see who was actually singing right there, but that clearly, I believe, was not his voice. It could have been the woman next to him. Because um, he actually. Puts the microphone towards her. That note was terrible. Absolute garbage right there. I mean, I'm I'm all for, you know, putting your own spin your own style on the national anthem, but you got to hit the notes. There's been some people that have absolutely butchered the national anthem. Fergie comes to mind, by the way. That note, the national anthem was perfect. It was perfect before that last note. Look at the comments here on Twitter. It says here, yeah, what's up with the ending there? LOL. Horrible. Horrible. Definitely not one to share <laughs> that ranked up there with Roseanne Barr. Oh, man, I forgot about hers. Hers was just garbage. Garbage. Uh, does anyone audition these singers before the race? Oh, my God. Another embarrassing national anthem. Ashamed of these people butchering this song over and over. And once again, Fox only shows two seconds of the four ship T 38 flyover. Nobody cares about seeing 55 cutaways of random people show the action. Next comment here. That has to be in the top three of the worst Anthem performances I've ever seen. Even Roseanne Barr did it better. Now, it's going to be hard for me to actually put that in the top five or worse ever because the guy sounded good. His voice is good. That last note. 
Horrific. Horrific. Great job. I think they meant great job. See, I can butcher the end to They did that on purpose right there. <laughs> oh, man. Here, this is my point right here. This comment here. Every note being sung through the anthem was great until the last word brave. What the hell was that? The singing of the national anthem today was <laughs> awful. What the hell? Oh, my God. Took a page out of the Roseanne School of Music. Absolute trash. He stepped on a dog. Worst of the year to date. Do better or play a recording. Yeah. Next comment. That was yeah, that was atrocious. I'm assuming that people actually do believe he was actually singing that last note and he couldn't hit it. Maybe maybe it was him. Regardless, it was awful at the end. Completely ruined a perfect rendition of the national anthem because he cracked his voice or maybe it was her. I, I don't know. Another comment. Crappy rendition. <laughs> Sounded like he got kicked in the nuts for the final notes. <laughs> yeah. God awful right there, guys. Just is. That was terrible. Terrible right there. What the hell just happened? Where do you find these people? <laughs> wow, not good. Uh, either a stroke or someone kicked him in the balls. Yeah, everybody's saying it's him. So I, I'm going to roll with it was actually him singing the national anthem all the way to the end, even until the last note. I guess, you know, maybe he was trying to improvise way, way, way too much. And he took it way, way, way too far. And I guess he was trying to overdo his talents right there because that was not good at all. This was just God awful. And Fox even Fox NASCAR even still puts this out on Twitter, I guess, so people can roast him for this just horrific rendition of our great national anthem. You know, at least he didn't kneel. At least he didn't change the words. He just couldn't hit that last note. It sounds like he has a tenor voice. Man, you're not a soprano. Don't don't try to sing soprano. You know, I, I actually sung in choir. I actually sung in choir also when I was in college as well. I knew my limits. I was pretty much a second tenor baritone voice. I wasn't trying to sing falsetto just to stretch out of my range. You cannot do that. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.